guys, so I was about to film a tutorial, but then I painted my nails and so I'm waiting for it to dry, so I thought I would film a haul video. Just um, a collective haul of recent, past few weeks purchases, I guess. Um, okay, I'm just going to jump right in before I start rambling, and then I'll probably, after the haul, I'll probably do like a update vlog kind of thing so stay tuned if you want to hear about what's been going on in my life so I'm gonna start with jewelry um, the first thing are these really cute earrings I got at forever 21 I got it online and they're these heart stud earrings and it's a minty green color they're really cute and it has a gold band around not a band like a gold border around it I think they're really cute they're bigger than I thought they would be from what I saw online but I really like them and then also from Forever 21, yeah, um, I got this set of also mint green, or if you want to call it like a robin's egg green or blue, um, these bracelets. And they're beads, and then one of them are is um, rose beads, so it's in the shape of roses. And I just think this is so cute. And I've been on the hunt for um, mint green bracelets for a really long time, like beads. And this just the perfect one and I got this at Forever 21 also from that online order and also the last thing I got at oh no oh okay the last thing I got at Forever 21 that was actually I bought in store is this really cute bracelet and it's gold and white and it looks like this and it's stretchy and usually I can't find bracelets that fit me but this one fits me because my wrist is really small and my hands are kind of small so it always slides off especially bangles I'm always on the hunt for bangles that fit and then from Walmart, I got first the set. Actually, it came with another bracelet, but I gave it to my cousin. And one of them is a coral bead bracelet, which I've also been on the hunt for forever. And then it came with it came with two like kind of friendship braided bracelets made of the string. And I really like this one. It's peachy and yellow and white, and it has a button on it. And I just think these are really cute for summer. Then the other one I got at Walmart is this silver coin shaped one like this and it's stretchy as well and I just really like this I think it's really cute looks like that and then moving on to non jewelry the first thing is a hair product and this is the Dove dry shampoo because I ran out of my suave one and I wanted to try a new one so Pauline actually recommended this she loves this but it hurts me to say that it didn't work for me I don't I'll probably give this to her or maybe I'll just try to use it up, but um, it just did not work for me. It it kind of left white splotches in my hair, and it made my hair look gray, and it, was, it just didn't work that well for me. I liked the Suave better, but I wanted to try the Lush one, so I'll probably try that next. It's a little bit more pricey, but I think I just feel like it's pricey because these were so cheap. This was, I think, a dollar or so more than the Suave, which was $3, so... Um, that's just really, really cheap, so I think that's why I've gotten in that mindset of dry shampoo should be cheap, but it's just 12 isn't that much for the Lush one. And it comes with a big bottle, and it's powder, so I, I want to try that out. Now on to makeup, I guess. Okay, first I got two brushes that I've been wanting for a really long time, but, um, I think, actually I think the sale's going on again this week, but two weeks ago at Ulta, all the brushes were buy one, get one 50% off, so I got two Real Technique brushes. The first one is the Expert Face Brush, and it's just a small little buffing brush that looks like that, and I think I'm going to use this just to buff out my foundation or my powder. And then the other one is the Powder Brush, which is a huge fluffy brush. I love it. And these are so soft. I have the blush brush and the stippling brush and I love it. I really recommend the blush, the stippling brush. So if you're looking for a new stippling, I love that one for liquid foundation. And then moving on, um, at Walmart the other day, I just picked up another one of my all-time favorite face primers, the Monistat Shafting Relief Powder Gel. And if you've been watching my videos since the beginning, then you know that I love this. Um, and I've just been trying to use up old samples and stuff, but I ran out of my first one. And then I'm going to move on to foundation. Okay, so I picked up um, another one of these L'Oreal Magic Smooth Souffle foundations because I just love it so much. And it was on sale at Walgreens the other day, so I got another backup one. And this is actually not in my shade, but I think it's okay because the other one was kind of not my shade, but it blended in really well. So this one's a shade or two off, but it's fine. And then also I picked up a Maybelline Dream smooth mousse just so I could do a comparison with the magic smooth souffle because I've heard good things about this and I wanted to try it out for myself and then here's something that 
everyone has been raving about that. I've wanted to try for a really long time, but I never really bought it. I just, I was like, mm, you know, it's not worth the hype. But then, it's the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup, and everyone talks about this. But the, I think one or two weeks ago at Rite Aid, it was on sale, so I got it for 8 or $9, and it's usually 13 or 14 I think. And I'm in the shade Natural Beige, if you were wondering. And I've been wearing it, and I actually really like it. So I'll probably do a more in-depth review on it soon. And then I got, um, I got this Milani Shadow Eyes uh, 12-hour wear eyeshadow, the stick one. And it's in the shade Champagne Toast. And I really like this for just brightening up the eyes, or it just gives that really nice um, brightening effect on the eyes. So I really like that. And then I got, the last two things I got were Revlon, and they're both from the um, Revlon Summer Collection, the Escapism Collection, I think. And the first one is this Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer in Bronzed and Chic, and it looks like this. And it has a really pretty coral reef um, imprint on it, like the raised design, and it has a mirror in here. And I'm not a fan of the packaging, because it's just bigger than it should be, and then there's this unnecessary brush and... I wouldn't say the mirror is unnecessary, but if they just cut out this part and then made the circular part the mirror, I think that would have been fine. Because nobody uses these brushes in here. I know I don't. I know a lot of people don't either. And then the last thing I got is this uh, Revlon Coral Reef Cream Blush in Coral Reef. Um, it's just this really pretty coral color, and I've used this, and I like it a lot, actually. I'll probably do a review on all these things. But that is all for my current purchases, and um, I just painted my nails. It's Essie's, let's see, Peach Daiquiri, and it looks like this. I got it in the swap that I did with my friend a while ago. And then, let's see, so the other day I dyed my hair black again. Um, I had it red, but my roots were growing out, and I just needed a change. Into, there's still hints of red in my hair, but it's fine. I like it. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's much blacker. And, oh, so in my last video, my room tour, I mentioned that I had pierced my cartilage, and let me just talk more about that. So let me try to, okay, it's up here. I'm going to try to turn to see if you guys can see it. Let me see. I don't know. I don't know if it's in frame. But, um, so I've always wanted to get my cartilage pierced since I was little. I don't know why, but I finally got it. And it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. And I thought I was going to wake up the next day in excruciating pain and just be in pain for the rest of the week. But I'm actually fine. I did it two or three days ago. And the next morning I woke up and I forgot I had gotten it pierced. But um, it just doesn't hurt. Unless I bump it into something or my hair gets caught in it. But I really am glad I finally got it. And um, you know how usually when you get a piercing they give you like alcohol to clean it every day? And they have this new thing called... Uh, H2O, it's sea salt, but it's a spray and you just spray it on and you let it soak in and I really like it because I hate using the cotton swab to clean my ear like on piercings because I feel like it just aggravates it and it touches it and you don't know where you should touch it and stuff so I like that and I don't know, nothing else has been going on but it's almost summer, oh so I finished my spring semester and I have one more class to take in the summer so that starts next week and the weather's been really nice, and okay, so I'm gonna go film my tutorial now because I think my nails are dry, and I think that's all I have to update you guys on. Oh, well, yesterday, this magazine came in the mail, The Glamour, with Carrie Underwood on the cover, and I read it last night. There's some good stuff in there. Um, let me see. There's some do's and don'ts for summer. Um, there's a huge uh, spread on Olivia Wilde. Wilde? This She's so pretty. This girl, hold on, let me show you. This girl, and she's one of the ambassadors along with Emma Stone, which I think they're both really beautiful, and they're um, ambassador or spokespeople for Revlon, and I love it. Oh, here's the Escapism um, collection that I was talking about that I got. That's the coral reef bronze I got, and then the blush, the cream blush that I got. The cream blush, it reminds me of the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouges, which I've tried before and I like, and these I find easier to blend, and these are a lot sheer too, so keep that in mind. But um, yeah, she looks really pretty in this, and then also Emma Stone is an 
I don't know what they call them. Ambassador Splits, but I don't know. But I think they're both really, really pretty. You guys have probably seen these before. But yeah, so, oh, and this guy is really, really hot. He was in, um, he's, he's in the new Spider-Man movie, but he was in social networking, or what was that movie? That Facebook movie. He was the best friend, but he's the new Spider-Man. He's so cute, you guys. And he has an accent. He's, I think he's British, I don't know. But, yeah, he's British. But he is so adorable. Anyway, my feet are falling asleep, so I'm gonna go film my tutorial, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!